Hello and welcome to my next smartwatch review. This is the Ruimen R U I M E N smartwatch. Uh, this says H1. The app is Happy Cat Fit. I'm not exactly sure what this watch is, but I'm going to flash it up on your screen right now. So this company reached out to me and asked if I would do a review if they sent me the watch and I said sure. And uh, I appreciate these companies who see my reviews and reach out to me and send me these devices to let me review them really to bring it to you so I can show you what's out there, what's good for the money, uh, what not to waste your money on. I try to be as fair and unbiased as I possibly can. So this smart watch it has the like the familiar oval kind of shape to it. It's going to look pretty good on the wrist. All right, it's going to have a one button touch here. Let me press and hold that and see if there's any battery life inside the device out of the box. Yes, it is saying hello to me. It's got a charging cable. This will be a USB uh, device that snaps on magnetically onto the back and then the other end would go into a USB uh, charging brick. This looks like it has speakers in here, so this might actually uh, have some uh, talk features to it. Um, let me charge this up. If you've never seen one of my reviews, then you don't know. I'm going to charge this up fully and wear it for, I don't know, five, six, seven days. Run it through its paces and then come back with my full, fair, and honest review. So I'll talk to you just in a few seconds through the magic of editing. And I will mention here, the watch comes with a strap already on it, but it comes with a spare silicone strap, so that's kind of nice. You don't really see that very often in these devices. All right, so let's take a look at this bad boy. I've been wearing it for about four days right now. If you swipe down, it gets you into some settings. Let me turn that brightness up. I usually turn that all the way down to save battery life. You can press and hold on this watch face here and scroll through some of the other watch faces that are available. Now there are a lot more watch faces in the app that you can download to the watch. Um, I tend to like sort of the basic ones with a big number that I can read easily. So you have some settings, there's a flashlight mode that which will basically turn the screen light uh, all white in case you need to see in the dark. Um, and some various settings, menu styles, you can change the menu style and I'll show you what that looks like here. It's more goes to like a more icon based uh, looking menu system. But I like to, uh, until you really learn what every symbol means, it's good to read and know exactly what function and feature you're in here. So you can control music from your smartphone when tethered with Bluetooth. Here's your lift your wrist feature here. Um, I usually turn that off to save battery life. I like to press the button when I want to see the time. But let's just start at the top, your menu style, your watch faces, your brightness, screen time. You can control how long you want the screen to come on or how long you want it to stay on once it comes on. Raise to wake, that's when you lift your wrist, the watch lights up and, and tells you your battery life. Again, I've been wearing it four days, I still have 60% battery left, which is quite impressive. We keep on going down the list here. You can change the language, There's you can turn on the vibration to vibrate. Um, QR code, that's just the QR code to scan to install the app. Some system info, there you go. It's the, the H1 model of the uh, Ruhlman watch. You can press the button twice to get into this mode, all right? And this has Bluetooth calling. You can dial and use this when tethered with your phone via Bluetooth. You can use this watch as a speakerphone and it works very well. I've tested that. Um, no problem there. You have your contact list can sync with your phone. You have to give it permission, of course. Your calls records. Uh, that was my test call. And... Um, you know, you can do little voice recordings, your activity data, you can look at your activities, your step count, your kill calorie burn, your miles walked for the day, an estimate. It has continuous heart rate, okay? this fi I find this to be pretty credible. Um, uh, it does SPO2. I'll let this go in real time. Uh, I think it falls a little bit short, possibly, in the blood oxygen saturation measurement. This always seems to be a tad lower than what I've gotten with every other uh, smartwatch I've owned. So I think the SBO2 measure is a little bit low, 
um, but it's still close. This this will say usually about 97, 98 percent, which is normal. But if you let it keep going, it'll actually vibrate to let you know the measurement is done. And it seems to usually drop down a little bit right there at the end. So we'll see what it does here. I'll let you know when it vibrates. But this is a 1.69 inch screen with 20 sports modes. It is IP68 waterproof. Um, there you go. I felt the buzz. So it stayed at 90 percent. 97% okay it got it pretty good that time maybe it's just because I was holding still but it's got the 24 hour heart rate monitoring and uh, it's got message notification you can read your text messages on the watch and it can pull in weather from your smartphone it does sleep tracking there's your continuous heart rate and beats per minute um, here are the various sports modes you can get into and here's the weather pulling in from your smartphone again it pulls this in from your phone when tethered to Bluetooth and that's it then you get right back to the the beginning let's go look at the app the app here is called happy cat fit which is kind of a funny name um, but it gives you the, your basic information again your steps for the day your kilocalorie burn your miles walked uh, here's your dial center here are the various dials uh, you have to choose from and there, there's more in here than you can see on one screen so there's a good selection of dials your sleep analysis you have to enter your weight manually but you can track your weight uh, over time and here's your blood oxygen saturation now for me it doesn't seem to always pull this in to update your app for with the watch you just swipe down once it's connected and it should pull in all the data from the watch again here's your your sleep tracking you can go back and look at the various days all right and uh, see how well you slept it gives you a, a deep sleep versus light sleep analysis uh, there's uh, blood oxygen saturation no this is not the measurement I just took so it doesn't seem to always pull that in for me for whatever reasons um, I've used it in a number of exercises here some strength training works out it tracks your continuous heart rate over the course of that workout your average heart rate and beats per minute your uh, maximum heart rate your minimum heart rate warm-up time calorie burn estimate I th find it does a pretty good job uh, keeping track of all this information during workouts and then you can enter you know some of your personal goals and sports modes and you know just the vo2 max testing free training you can select different sports to download to the watch and set certain reminders and alerts and whatnot for the blood oxygen saturation measurements it will actually use a red diode which is nice you uh, really only get that kind of in the higher end of the the low end smart watches if that makes sense bluetooth calling when tethered to your phone continuous heart rate um, if this has the features you're looking for and you don't need like an advanced health uh, analytics this does not do blood pressure um, it does not have an endless variety of sports modes it does not have GPS but I'll tell you what it's selling on Amazon right now for $49.99 and they're offering a 20% coupon code for about 40 bucks I think this watch is a really good uh, bargain for if you just want to make Bluetooth calls track your sleeps and step and kill, kill a calorie burn and you get something that actually kind of looks like the Apple watch I'd say it's a pretty good buy. Go check it out. I'll drop a link. Uh, thanks for watching this review. All my reviews support my kayaking channel and my kayak business. Go check me out at DaveTheKayaker.com. I greatly appreciate it. I bring you these smartwatch reviews, A, because I love the technology. I like to see what's new and what's out there. Uh, and B, I like to bring it to you so you can make informed decisions when you're choosing a smartwatch. I think this is my 76th or 77th fitness tracker and smartwatch review you can go look at all those reviews on my fitness tracker and smartwatch playlist on youtube you can drop a little donation here on this video just to say thank you even if it's just a dollar or two i greatly appreciate it um and hey i'll be back very soon with a new smartwatch uh, test coming soon thanks for watching stay healthy stay fit Stay motivated and just get out there and move your body. If you don't use it, you will lose it. When you want an extraordinary racing kayak made in the finest American tradition, or maybe just own a piece of American kayaking history, you want a West Side Boat Shop kayak. Now available from DaveTheKayaker.com
Westside Boat Shop Kayaks. The tradition continues.